Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oliver Nye here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Gonna share with you a special bait here. This is a brand new brand partner for us this year. Our friends at Bait Sanity make this antidote glide bait. This seven and a half inch glide bait is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. It's easy to fish, easy to throw. We're gonna show you guys the tackle breakdown of what I'm throwing it on today and hopefully show you guys some cast to catch action. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I turn those notifications on. Here we go. I've done a couple of things to this bait. I've put slightly heavier gauge BKK Fang 63 UA treble hooks on here. That's going to add a little bit more weight to help me get that bait down in the column like I was talking about. And I've also added two of the tungsten adhesive strips from Bait Sanity. That also gets that nose of that bait to, to stay down and I can get a really erratic action out of my bait with those two small minor adjustments. And I wasn't sure what color I was going to start off with today, so I actually attached my bait to a heavy snap to a heavy ball bearing swivel. That helps me eliminate line twists with if and when these glide baits helicopter on the cast. So my line isn't weakened from that cumulative effect of that line twist and casting all day, but it also allows me to quick change. Now we're fishing on a body of water here that's got gizzard shad, threadfin shad, blueback herring. So if there's uh, another color that I want to pick up and try, it's as simple as putting it on that snap and closing it. Now, I know some of you guys probably saw my good friend Carl Jockamson open up a snap on a very key fish at the Bassmaster Elite on Lake Chickamauga this year. Uh, don't fret, that was a freak accident. Him and I have probably combined for hundreds of big glide bait fish successfully landed on that snap. Here's something you wanna look out for. This snap started off as a black nickel snap. And to be honest, you could see some of that coating coming off from the wear and tear and just overall usage. This is when I'll take this off, cut it off and toss it. And you'll just go with a fresh snap. They're pretty cheap at 120 pound rating. Like it's actually pretty difficult to open that up, but it is made out of wire. So it is susceptible to wire fatigue. So the more times you open it and close it and the wider you open it and close it, the weaker that wire is gonna get. So try to minimize your, your usage. And if you get a healthy amount of, of use out of that snap, go ahead and retire it, uh, swap it out. But this bait comes in a plethora of fantastic colors. So no matter what your forage base is, whether it's threadfin shad, whether it's sunfish, or something like blueback herring, or if you fish like eating bread, this is the awesome bread color. Uh, anything bone or or white tends to be really well. Here's the the full size Explore Gen 2 glide bait for for size reference. This is a great bait here to tie on if you want to gain confidence in glide baits overall. Get yourself a lot of good bites with this bait, and then you can step up and go trophy hunting with that next class of bait. Dude, that was a proper one. Fire that worm back in there. Let's talk about the setup. I'm fishing this bait today on fairly long casts, across some flats, across some points, and occasionally throwing it in and around docks. So today I picked this Douglas rod. This is a Douglas LRS C7115F. That's a seven foot 11, 15 to 25 pound rated, three eighths to two ounce rating. This is a, a great rod for fishing a bait of this size. 
This is a fantastic rod, loads up really well, allows me to make effortless casts, whether they're short range or mid range, or in, in some cases, long range. It's got a lot of tip. It's got a little bit softer action than the Matrix series from Douglas. So I really like these rods for anything with hanging trebles, hard baits in particular, and in this case, this seven and a half inch glide bait. It loads really, really nice when I'm working the bait and when the fish strikes and I get those trebles in its face. That little bit softer parabolic action keeps those hooks pinned in their mouth. And the power I have with this 13 fishing A3 concept reel uh, ensures that I've got the power to hunk those fish straight to the boat and into my hands. Spooled on this reel is Defiant 28 pound heavy cover fluorocarbon. This is my preferred fluorocarbon when I'm fishing straight floral. Now the reason I'm fishing straight floral today is because this water is pretty deep and pretty clear. I actually want that fluorocarbon to help me get that bait to sink down into the column. Get it below the canopy of these docks and be able to glide that bait in and out of the docks, hopefully right in the face of an aggressive bass. 28 pound also allows me to fish pretty recklessly. I've got a pretty wide margin of error. I know a lot of guys like fishing 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon on a bait this size, but I for one do not enjoy breaking my baits off or worse yet, breaking my baits off in fish. So some people might feel like 28 is excessive for a bait this class, but uh, I would beg to differ. This heavy cover fluorocarbon from Defiant is 100% fluorocarbon. It's got no more visibility underwater than the 15 or 20 pounds some people choose to use. Oh, oh there you go. There Big one. Watch out, fine. with any time with this bait sanity antidote. Threw that thing under that dock. The shorter Douglas rod is really nice for that. Working this bait fast and erratically and this big one came out from under the dock and smoked it. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> One of my favorite things about glide bait fishing is its similarity to jerk bait fishing and how important it is to figure out the right cadence and rhythm and speed and play with this bait and make it swim tight and then kick out wide and, and figure out how to trigger these fish as this bait is zipping in and out from underneath docks uh, at the ends of submerged laydowns and trees. It, it's just a fantastic freestyle way of, of catching and fooling bass. It's really versatile and, and really only limited by your imagination. I hope you guys have enjoyed this technical breakdown on the Bait Sanity Antidote Glide Bait. Uh, it's been a ton of fun fishing it today in and around docks, uh, in and around laydowns, on open water points, around rock walls, and caught a really nice fish on it today. So uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got product details and links in the description below. I'm Oliver Nye. This is Big Bass Dreams. Catch you guys on the next one. She's gone. <laughs>